100,000 amperes within a few hundredths of a second. These are the survivors of a lightning strike. Back in the summer of 2011, the Lakatos family was caught outdoors in a heavy storm. I watched the last bolt hit the water and remember thinking, we really need to get out of here. But it was too late to flee. I heard this explosion and I saw it hit the ground right here. And you were down, and you were down, and I have no idea where I threw this. With the exception of the younger son, Finn, the strike knocked out the entire family. They all ended up in intensive care. Even now, the doctors still don't know exactly what the lightning did to them physically. But this researcher can now look inside the bodies of people hit by lightning. Working at Darmstadt's Technical University, Irina Montellano has developed a computer program specifically for that purpose. Her work is based on a highly detailed computer model of the human body named Hugo. In the model, she can simulate what damage a victim's heart sustains when they suffer a direct hit. We've discovered that in that case, the electricity measured in the heart is five times greater than the reference case of someone standing 10 meters away from where the lightning strikes. A direct hit is much more dangerous. Rudolf Lakatos was standing directly in the path of the lightning bolt. We've had our blood tested many times, and the doctors discovered that in my blood, there were signs that my heart tissue was breaking down. That's why I kept having to go back to intensive care. If the family had been inside a car, they would have been safe. In the lightning lab, Montellano demonstrates why that is. The metal body of the car forms what's called a Faraday cage that blocks the electrical field of the lightning. These experiments help researchers understand more about the dangers of lightning. Montellano's simulations show where the electricity flows and reveal that in cars with a sliding glass roof, the driver's head would be exposed. Another danger is what's called stride voltage. Standing with the legs apart can increase the flow of current through the body. Red indicates the point of maximum flow. I stepped back, I started to close this, and then I turned to follow him. So this leg was outside of the circle. I have nerve pain and low energy. I'm weaker than before. My strength hasn't returned. Stride voltage can also be a problem when a lightning rod isn't properly grounded. It transfers and dissipates the lightning current into the earth surrounding a house. It would be a problem if this was at ground level, if a person was standing here with their legs apart. It could happen that they would be exposed to voltage here. We've always assumed this to be a risk. It's known, but until now, we haven't been able to calculate it properly. Montellano's colleague, Sebastian Suchanek, can now calculate how the stride voltage propagates on the ground. The red areas show where it's most dangerous, the areas of highest voltage. This simulation shows me which stride voltages occur on the surface of the ground. Ms. Montiano uses them as input values for her Hugo simulations. In other words, we can place Hugo anywhere here on the virtual Earth and measure how much electricity would flow through the heart of a person standing there. The simulations have inspired several new ideas. One is to place central lightning rods with an underground network of branching subterranean grounding wires for use in small villages. That could help reduce dangerous stride voltage effects. The after effects of the lightning strike are still felt by Rudolf and Britta Lakatos. They have circulatory problems and joint and muscle pains, but they got off lightly. If we'd been standing wrongly or differently or whatever, then we probably wouldn't be standing here right now.
Als ich dann die Menschen wieder gesehen habe, die mir sehr sehr wichtig When I saw the people I care about, I realized we'd almost lost each other. It gives you a different awareness. These days I try to do things now and not put them off. Und verschieb sie nicht. And if the Lacatos family runs into heavy weather, they'll do everything they can to make sure that lightning doesn't strike twice.